Hello guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the Russian Guy channel. Today we're going to the store and I thought it'd be cool to take you guys along. So enjoy. Hi guys, um, this is Joash, um, Russian Guy. I was just going out to the shopping center and this is the car park. And the interesting thing about this shopping center is it's completely off ground. It's a car park the whole way underneath. And they've got heaps of parking outside. There is always parking here. Um, this is our car. Um, I'm here with my sister right here. This is Sabrina. She is also just starting up a YouTube channel. Um, uh, what's, what's the name of your YouTube channel? Hi, I'm Sabrina from Russian Homestead Girl. Yep. Um, and your channel's just going to be about life in Russia, a little bit like mine, yep. but obviously from her perspective. A little bit um, more domestic. Yep, a little bit more domestic. it um, be really interesting. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And um, yeah, go follow her and um, see what she's doing. It'll be really interesting. All right, now we're going to head inside and um, take you along for a bit of shopping. Um, hope you guys enjoy it. So this is our local shopping center. It's um, everything's in lockdown. Only the main stores are open. This store here is Ashan. Um, we go here quite often. So here we are at the front of Ashan. Um, this is like a seasonal section at the front. So they'll bring out, at the moment, they got all stuff coming for spring. They got a whole bunch of, um, these are like barbecues, but they're made for cooking what they call shashlik, which is what we call kebabs. So you light a coal fire, in here, then you have all rods that sit in these slots, and then you can cook your shashlik on it. It's very popular in Russia. So this section here is a section of Shan. It always changes. Right now, it's got all the stuff for planting gardens, the spring, but you know, it'll change. Like for two weeks, it'll be all white goods. And then later on, it'll be um, stuff for like Mother's Day. It always changes. This is some stuff for what's called Den Babieri, which is Victory Day. It's very big in Russia. It's on the 9th of March, and they're just starting to bring out stuff for it. It's a very big day in Russia, and um, yeah, it's a good holiday. So this is an interesting section. It's what Russians call for bunyas. It is like a sauna, but a lot hotter and a lot more moist. And this is all stuff for a banya. So they have, I'll show you down here. They have a bunch of stuff. They have like these hats here, and they're for putting on your head, and they keep your head a lot cooler with the steam because it can get very hot. And then we have these are birch branches. So, what you do is you soak them in water, and then once you're in there and it's all hot and steamy, you'll actually hit yourself with these, and it's very healthy. You get a lot of the minerals. Um, in your skin and it's very popular and then a whole lot of other bits and pieces Russians love bunyas 
So one thing I thought I'd talk about is just with this time with um, the coronavirus. Um, in Russia, there hasn't really been, well, at least in Nova Spurs, there hasn't been um, a shortage on products. Um, people haven't been buying everything out. And I think that is because it's just not portrayed as scary here. Like, people know it's here, but this is a toilet paper aisle. And it's pretty much fully stocked. So, yeah, there's no problems here. They had some problems in Moscow, but... No, everything's good here. So, one thing I thought I'd do is I'll show you some products like Russian products that I like. So this is called Kvass, and it's sort of a little bit like a, an equivalent of a maybe a Russian ginger beer. Um, it's um, only got a tiny alcohol percentage. Now that you couldn't get drunk off this, and yet yeah, it's a really nice drink, and um, it's one of the thing one of the foods that I like in Russia. So this is something that we don't have much of in Australia. Um, this is all like candy and lollies. There's a, a whole aisle dedicated to this. Um, it's very, a lot of Russians when you go over to their place they'll just have a bowl of lollies sitting on the table. So, and this is also a, a slightly different system than at least in Australia. Um, so everything's sold in bulk. You fill up a bag full of it. Then after you fill that up, there's these little numbers here. And you'll take your bag over to these scales. Put your number in. And then you get printed out a small tag. You put that on your bag. Then you take that to the cash register. And uh, yeah, it's different in Australia because in Australia, like you buy fruit, you take it to the cash register and they just put the number in. But here, you actually print out a label. And um, it's just something to get used to. I remember when I first came here, <laughs> I'd walk up to the front with a bag of fruit and um, the lady at the counter would be like, uh, I can't sell you this because there's no tag. You'd have to run back and get a label for it. It was, uh, took a little bit of getting used to, but now I'm used to it. So this is just like a, a fresh sort of food area where they cook it, do roast chickens and stuff. their meat section. Russians eat a lot of chicken and pork. Um, beef is more expensive here so there's not so much of that but it's getting more popular. But we don't need to buy any meat today so I'm just going to show you this, here, this side of the store. And this is the bread section, pastries. It's pretty standard, what you'd sort of find in a western store. Frozen foods. So this here is something that Russians like. It's also like a bunya food. So this is pork but there's more, more fat here than actual meat. It's called sala, and it's like a salty pork. Russians really like it. Um, also, a little bit of an acquired taste. It tastes good. You just, this is like the fish section. So fish is quite popular in Russia too.
Um, fish isn't my favorite meat, but it's interesting, so I thought I'd show you guys. They have live fish here that you can buy. So it's interesting to come and see. Okay, so this is another one of my, um, the foods I like that's traditionally Russian. Well, that I've only seen in Russia. So this is like cheese, but it's smoked. And Russians love to have this in a bunya, as a bunya food. It's um, quite tasty. Um, it's a bit like the Australian Vegemite, instead of acquired taste. But um, I like it, like it a lot. So this is the alcohol section. Um, pretty standard. Um, of course, is um, iconic vodka. Um, we actually buy this to make um, tinctures. So my sister Sabrina, she'll make, put a whole heap of um, herbs and stuff in here, and it will. Um, brew or sit in there for a month or so and then after that you just have a tiny little bit and it's like a health drink to keep you healthy and um, yeah so that's what we use it for of course we don't drink it straight but um I just thought I'd point it out it's uh, iconic to Russia you might say so here we have some more stuff for Den Pibieti. Yep, victory day. This is the kids section. Yep, it's a very big um, thing in Russia, as I said before. And Russians really enjoy it. So this is the... Um, sort of seasonal section I said again right now it's all the gardening stuff I'll have to show you something this is my favourite piece right here <laughs> I like it got some scarecrows Then Sabrina of <laughs> Russian Homestead Girl hiding behind the scarecrow. So this is all the cash registers. They have got them the whole way along the front of the store. But most of the time, most of them aren't open. But there's certainly a lot of them. Let's see if we can find a short line. This is a section where you can actually come in and put a down deposit down and hire a pram or a wheelchair. So this is mostly used for in winter when people come on a bus and it's cold, it's too hard to push a pram around. They'll put a deposit down and you can use one of these and then when you bring the pram back you get your deposit back so it's absolutely free um, so it's really convenient Excellent. Today, we only bought <sighs> here we go not too much today but we've got a few errands to run as well so that's all All right, our next stop will be going to get going to the markets. These are um, Russian markets. We're going to go buy some wheat. It's wheat made for uh, wheat grown for chickens, but we grind it up and uh, use it for making bread. So that's our next stop. Hi guys. So we just arrived at the markets, but it appears today that. This is where they normally are, and there's no one here today selling grain. But that's alright, um, we've actually bought an extra bag or two, and we have it at home, 
um, just in case they did decide to close down for a while. So that'll be all right, we'll just pull them out. Um, they do have other markets here. Um, we'll have to do a, a tour one of these days. So this is like some clothing stores here. And then there's Sabrina. And then they got like some more outdoors and toolsy stuff. So maybe one day we will come here and like do a tour of what a Russian market is like. Because it's actually quite interesting. They've got a lot of um, stuff that's iconic to Russia. And um, I know in Australia there's not many markets like these. So it might be interesting for you. Let me know what you think, whether you'd actually like a video or I'd be interesting to see. As you know that um, there's no wheat here. Um, most everything's shut down here. So there's another market which I want to go to. It's a market for cars. They sell all sorts of stuff for cars, bodywork, engine work, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I need to go get some stuff from that market, but we're just going to go see if it's open. I'm not sure whether it's open or not, but we'll go have a look. So here we are at the car markets. Um, everything is pretty much closed. It's all shut down just like the other one. But thankfully, this store right here is still open. This is the one I want. I just need to get some sandpaper just to do some stuff on the car. So, it's all good. Here we are. Here's the sandpaper. What we want is... Do they have... There's the stuff we want. So let's get some... 2,000 and 2,500. Yeah, so this is like a um, body, a car body repair shop. Um, they sell all standing gear, paint, uh, fillers, rust converters. Yep, this is a pretty comprehensive store. I like it. So all sorts of stuff for your vehicle. So yeah, it's a pretty cool store. Alright, so we got the sandpaper we needed. So that's all good. Um yeah, so now we're just gonna head home and uh, I'll record if there's anything else interesting, but until then, uh catch ya. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to let me know your thoughts in the comments and like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. So until next time, stay safe and I'll catch you then.